Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see how we can add matrices and how we can perform scalar multiplication of matrices. So, the, let us look at some properties related, related to addition and scalar multiplication and then we will try and then explain those properties with some examples. So, let us say that if we have matrices of the form A, B, C of size M by N and then if C and D are any scalar quantities, if there are constants, scalar quantities are constants, then we can write some properties related to addition and scalar multiplication. The first property we want to see is if we have a matrix A like that and then if we have matrix B like that and then matrix A and matrix B have elements within them that when we add these two matrices in this order it is the same as adding B matrix B plus matrix A like that and this is what is called the commutative property of addition. This is uh, it is very similar to the property what we have seen in the basic algebra. In the second one, if we have matrix A and if we have two more matrices like this, B and C, and for some reason if we were to combine matrix B and matrix C, or on the other hand it is the same as saying uh, this, matrix A plus matrix B plus matrix C um, and if we were to combine A plus a matrix A and matrix B first and then combine it to C the result would be exactly same as what we have on the left hand side if we combine let me state this one again if we combine matrix B and C first and then combine it to matrix A that would be the same as saying uh, combining a matrix A plus B first and then combining it with C and this type of a property is very similar to what we have seen in basic algebra and this is what this is called the associative property of addition. The third property we want to understand is if we have two constants if C and D are scalar quantities and if we were to take that and then multiply to a matrix A and matrix A has some elements within it it is the same as saying that we can take one constant out and then multiply uh, the constant D times the matrix A or it is the same as saying or it is the same as saying we go to multiply matrix D to C times matrix A. So this is this is exactly the way we want to do this. Then the next property we want to talk about is that if we have, if we multiply a matrix by 1, it is not going to change any of the elements in the matrix A. It is still, still going to remain as A, matrix A with all the elements in there, in there. Then the next property is if we have a constant C and if we were to multiply or distribute it to matrix A plus matrix B like that, it is very similar to the distribution property which we have seen in algebra. This is going to take the form as follows. C times matrix A plus C times matrix B. Since C is a constant, we can distribute it to every one of the elements in matrix A and then every one of the elements in matrix B. So we can also write this one as C times A, that would be a matrix, plus C times B, that would be another matrix. Okay, so this is, we are using the distribution property to be able to um, um, distribute the constant term which is outside of the brackets to every one of the um, matrices which, which is inside the bracket, brackets. So the next property we want to look at is uh, if A is a matrix with some elements in them 
and then if we have another matrix which has zero elements in them and if we were to add these two matrices it is not going to change the elements in the matrix A because in the second matrix that is in, in the null matrix or zero matrix all the elements are zero when you add zero to any any number it is not going to change the value of that for example if I, if you if we have five as a number and if we were to add zero to it the value is still going to be equal to still going to be equal to five and when we add zero to five it's not going to change the value of five very similar to what we have seen in in algebra the next property is if we have a matrix and if we have a matrix if we were to add it to a matrix which is equal to but opposite in sign every one of the elements in matrix A um, is uh, is equal to but opposite in sign in the second matrix then the resulting matrix is going to be equal to a zero matrix that means the in that matrix all the elements are going to be zeros all the elements are going to be zeros okay so these are some of the some of the properties of uh, matrix addition and uh, scalar multiplication of me uh, of matrix so uh, in my next presentation we should use some of these properties to be able to uh, understand how these work and how we can simplify problems when we have situations of this this nature